Have you ever seen that card? Chase, what are you looking for? <laughs> I'm looking for the Billy Ripken error card with the with the little writing on the bat for those that know. What's the error? <laughs> it's inappropriate. <laughs> but there's also a Griffey Jr. rookie that could be in here, so I got three dollars on the box. I'll probably go through real quick and see if I can find those cards. I'm way too close. <laughs> So this is our first Goodwill of the day, first thrift store. I think we're going to see how many we can hit in a single day. You need a baby cakes waffle maker? Waffle sticks? That's my nickname in high school. Baby cakes? <laughs> no, it wasn't. It was mine. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. So I thought this was a smash controller because of that, but it's just a third party. You can make waffle wow. dipping sticks. Fancy. Purchase of the day, question mark? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we should look it up just for kicks. <laughs> <laughs> 20 bucks each if you want them. I feel like there should be a green one or something, like a third. Well, how about this one? That's the, shrunk, that's the shrunken head. The shrunken head. <laughs> it's more normal size. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that is heavy. I feel that. How many pounds do you think that is? I don't know if you've ever seen... Lift it with one hand. 10 bucks says you can't. Oh, you went under. How about from the top? Oh, but you didn't clarify. <laughs> Dang it. I owe you 10 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> if I had shack hands... Yeah. I'm gonna break it. <laughs> yeah. um, well, this is. You remember those chia pets? Like, so if you pour water on it, this is your result. Yeah. <laughs> True. <laughs> that one landed. <laughs> yes. So this is thrift store number two of the day, and I think we're gonna strike out here too. We're gonna be 0 for two, but we're gonna keep trudging on until we can find something awesome. Hopefully, we'll be at the next stop because we're going to a pawn shop next. This is where the magic happens. And deals are made. This is the local pawn shop. They hook us up here. Good place. Ooh, I got a PS2. I got a feeling we'll be able to get that PS2. Looks silver. That is a giant box. Featuring Jay Z and Eminem. It's so big, I might consider getting it because it is like it's worth something. It's just so huge. Yeah. <laughs> I really hope I got that. <laughs> that was that was classic. Name that player. Don't know. <laughs> I mean, besides the fact that his name's on the front. <laughs> Plaster. He doesn't look recognizable to me. Did you know he was the number one overall draft pick? Did you know? Are you asking me or the, the viewers? <laughs> oh. I mean, I'm not trying to stump you. I did know that. Pretty, pretty easy stuff. Sony charging station. I don't know. It's marked at 50. If we can get it for five, I'll take it. 
fifty down to five. You never know. Toy Story bucket all soldiers. Why? Oh, okay. Those actually come alive when you're not in the room. No. Yeah, they do. They're legit. Authentic. You're right. They think we don't know, but we've seen the movie. <laughs> Head knockers. Alright, we'll see if we can make some deals. Okay, guys, so I presented this idea to Mike. So, literally while we were on the way to the pawn shop. All right. And you tell him the idea. All right, guys, so here's the idea. It's really close to my face. Back at it. Just a side here. All right. <laughs> so, I am one of the only ones in our fr group of friends who does not own a Switch. And I want a Switch, but I can't justify purchasing one. <laughs> right. And so, Chase is like, what if we start with $10 and. You work your way up, you buy things, and he'll sell them, keep mm -hmm. a, a little cut, but we work my way up to a Switch. And I was like, yeah, that sounds like fun, and if I fail, no big deal. We shook hands on it, <laughs> and then we walk into this pawn shop five minutes later. <laughs> Literally, five and, minutes later. And there's a, t there's a Switch in there, mm -hmm. and Chase, being the wheel and dealer that he is, gets a Switch, like seven games, um... A dock, yeah. like everything. Full setup plus seven. Games. Full setup for three hundred bucks out the door. So now, <laughs> I can't fail. Yep. I am in a spot, and so this series is going to be called Mike's ten dollars switch or attempting like attempting to get one. Something yes. like that. So. so, full disclosure, we weren't expecting to buy the switch before we started the challenge. Right. I bought the switch, so it's three hundred dollars. It was out the door, and Mike is going to buy it from me. Um, the goal was to basically he starts with his ten bucks, find something at garage sales, and then we work our way up to a switch collection and basically his top three games. Well we got one with seven. And your top three are in there, right? Two of the Except three. Except for Z Zelda and, and Mario Odyssey. Yeah. We'll show we'll show exactly what we got, but it includes some Pokemon games which were in your top three. Yeah. And there's even some Dragon Ball Z games, which I think is a nice bonus. My list of top three is like ten games, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we, we basically expanded it, and it's very exciting because it's probably about $450 in value. For sure. And it, it works. It's in great condition. It's a setup. Yeah. I you, mean, knew, you knew that Switch was in there. <laughs> I had no idea. <laughs> but it was our local pawn shop with Harvey, and man, he just... Hooked it up. He hooked it up. Great guy. Great shop. And so we'll show you guys everything that we got there, but basically, um, when Mike comes, I'm working. It's on. It's on. It's going to work time. up to that $300 mark. Um, shout out to Retro Rick. He's doing the $10 game collection right now. So this is kind of a spin off of that idea. And I wanted to use my business and my ability to sell things to be able to help Mike get, get a Switch because he needs one. Come on now. And I will fully document my failures as well as my successes. So if I have yep. some busts, you guys will see them. Mm -hmm. And you can comment and make fun of me below. So He's got to do the research and get the proper fines that are profitable. Um, and I will kind of help educate you along the way, and mm -hmm. maybe that will help some of you guys too. But it's going to be a fun ride, so be sure to look forward to that. And now we will show what we got at the pawn shop. So the total at the pawn shop was $480. So we definitely spent a lot of money. Starting with this Halo Reach, the statues in there, the games in there, most of the stuff, missing the slip cover, um, legendary collection, and I paid 30 bucks for that, that's been in the shop for years, finally asked about it, got it down, didn't have a price, and they sold it to me for 30 bucks, so that's a great deal on that. And then I got some games, Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy on Switch. They threw in for 10 bucks since I was already buying so much other stuff, which is awesome. And then also threw in Mario Golf Advanced Tour for free. Complete in the box, minty fresh. It's got all the wrappings, the manual, everything inside. And then these seven games for 30 bucks. Though they're marked out a lot more than that. But they include Mario's Time Machine, Miss Pac-Man, Diddy Kong Racing, Super Mario World Got Some Wear, 
Super Mario Kart, and then two more Mario World games. You can see the prices on those are just totally all over the board. They've had them for a while. But I got them all for 30 bucks. And then this I'm pretty excited about, this G.I. Joe toy. The box is not original. It's like a reproduction. Um, but still a cool box. But I'm pretty sure this figure inside is original. It's not the matching figure, but it's like a 1964 real G.I. Joe. If I can get it to... It's always weird to look for the years on these things. G.I. Joe, copyright 1964. I think... That that is original. If you're you toy people in the comments, let me know the name of this guy or how to how to find him and if the clothing is original and all that. Here's a little weapon, which I think also might be original. So I think that was an excellent score for ten bucks. It was marked at twenty. Then got these trading cards of Obama. Did not know that was a thing. Kind of just a novelty to get it sealed. I think they're probably worth more than ten bucks. So that was that, and now Mike is going to talk about the switch score. The switch score. Yes. All right. Wait, that's the broken switch. This okay. Is the broken we'll talk switch. about that in a second. All right. So, first we got a switch right here with your red and blue controllers. Yeah. Works. We know it connects to the internet. All that good stuff. Yeah, that's one thing to check if they're internet banned or not. So we had them connect it. Have a dock mm -hmm. with a, a power cord and HDMI. Yep. And so it's got all the all, all the things. The price that they were asking didn't get it. <laughs> and this case is like actually one of the really nice, like yep. hard, good quality cases. Yep. So it's like a full setup. And then for games, we got um, no case, but we got Pokemon Sword. Can you see that? All right. Yep. Okay. And then we got Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, Super Smash Bros, Dark Souls. Very nice. DBZ Xenoverse Two, which is a classic. I love it. Nice. Well, it's actually a classic, but I call it a classic. You've played it on which system? I have. I played it on Xbox One. Xbox One. Yep. Yeah, because that's like a, a port for the Switch, I guess you would mm -hmm. call it. Uh, Dragon Ball Z Fighter Z. I have not played that one or the brand new one, which we didn't pick up because it wasn't there. And uh, <laughs> Team Sonic Racing, which I'm not excited about whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll just sell that one. You I don't can know. Sell that one. Okay. <laughs> and then this was a broken Switch. So. It's got the, the Joy-Con grip, um, the dock, which is working, as far as I know, with the cords and stuff. And what was the issue with the Switch? This one doesn't lick, lock in. So. Yeah, so um, he said he tried the other Joy-Cons on it and couldn't get them to properly lock in on the left side. So it powers on. Uh, my theory is that the Joy-Cons could be working. The Switch has an issue, but... If we got working Joy-Cons and a working dock, and then a switch for parts, paid a hundred bucks. I think I can get the money back on just the switch, if it's, even if it's not repairable by me. And then we got some free Joy-Cons and dock in the original box. So that is... It's a good score. It's a good score. It's a no-brainer, because even if it's not working, we can get the money back on the system only and keep oh the Joy-Cons in the dock. There's not. Liar. <laughs> So this is the $300 Switch bundle that Mike is going to work towards starting with $10 and really only using $10 to buy it and then using the profits from the sale to work his way towards this. I'm going to keep 20% off the top just to kind of cover my time. If I fail, Chase is giving me the broken one. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> but it should be a lot of fun. So make sure to subscribe, hit that bell button, and look forward to that series. Get Mike. A ten dollar switch. Tatsy looks like she's on your head. <laughs> she's standing on your shoulder right now. <laughs> Probably look horrible. <laughs> <laughs> look pretty good actually. <laughs> so we're at stop number three, four. Four. At Goodwill. And this is cool. Two dollars for the whole stack. Four times nineteen fourteen. The Pacific Monthly nineteen ten. They're in horrible condition, but this Lovely is probably gray. worth even 10 to 15 bucks just in that condition, so we'll pick that up for sure. They call it a lot. I know. <laughs> Four bucks for all of these doorknobs with the bin. I think Liz will enjoy having the bin, so we're going to pick it up.
It's like, well, I'll take that one out of the show. <laughs> <laughs> another thing we got three items from one goodwill and this is gonna make us two for four in our stops yay yay bed bugs galore but we'll see if they got any video games among the bed bugs I can work with that. Hold on. Come off the Bluetooth. Call me back. Yeah. Yeah, thanks. I'm sorry. Be rude. Oh, you're good. You're good. How's it going? Okay, well, the Rabbit Hutch, <laughs> it's just this little rinky dink shop. They're not actually, I wouldn't even really consider them a shop. It's just a place to store stuff that she opens. Yes. She buys, goes to garage sales and storage units. That's dry, Mikey. <laughs> that's how you read it. That, yeah, I won't tell that story. Let's go in reverse. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk about that story later. <laughs> um, but anyways, we spent 31 bucks and got some things. Um, we'll do a pickup here in a second because it's all in the back. I forgot that we're on the way to sell one of my TVs for a hundred bucks because I upgraded to a different TV for a hundred bucks and just wanted to break even. And it looks like it's going to happen. We're going to Popeyes to get the chicken sandwich that's better than Chick Fil A. Oh, sorry, Chick Fil A, we still bold, love you. Bold claim. Hot take. Thane's not signing on the dotted line for that oh. statement, but I am. <laughs> Comment below what you think. Popeyes, Popeyes or, or Chick Fil A. <laughs> Nice synchronized little statement there. Yeah, that's cute. Apparently, I just focus on driving, otherwise, I'm gonna <laughs> hit something. <laughs> Popeyes, here we come. Chase is heading out to uh, make the Facebook deal for the TV for a hundred bucks. So basically, All right, Chase, there's there's some fun. what happened is I found a better TV than our current 42 inch at Goodwill, brand new for 100 bucks. So I bought it. And it's about four or five years newer than the one we were using, and it's a 43 inch. So I decided I'd put my old one on Facebook, get the 100 bucks back. That's what just happened. <laughs> Worked out well. I asked 125, took 100. Now you're gonna eat your biscuit. Yes. <laughs> what is this? Stop number five? Six? No, oh, yeah, this would be six because we went to the rabbit hutch, so. Stop number six. Stop number 
Seven. That's after six. Up to four, eight. Can I get a like for Thane's genius comment? Thank you. <laughs> Okay, so stop number seven, that pawn shop. Really good. <laughs> really, really good. <laughs> it's rough. They, they got new ownership in there, and they're listing stuff on eBay, but they're listing stuff on eBay for way too much. And, like, for example, that Intellivision bundle that you guys saw, 20 games, rough boxes, system, and a little keyboard thing. They listed it on eBay for $450 and said they would take 300 cash today. My offer, if I wouldn't have heard that... Would have, would have been 20 bucks. <laughs> so I was like, okay, thank you. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> so yeah, they're going to go out of business within two years if they keep up the same tactics, but that's okay. we got other places to hit, and we're going to keep going. We're at a thrift store right now, so let's go in. Here we go. And then we went to the Rabbit Hutch, which <laughs> is kind of a dirty shop, unorganized, but... Dirty is a kind word. <laughs> They had some good stuff, so uh, it's kind of a name-your-own-price kind of place. There's no prices on anything. So I offered 5 bucks for these two vehicles together, the Dress Park helicopter and car, and got them for 5 bucks. Uh, I'd say probably worth about 30 bucks in that condition together. So that was a great deal. And then this tub of stuff were like the only notable video games in the place. Uh, but she usually gets in stuff, like especially as garage sale season starts. 25 bucks. So we got an Atari. There's We Play. I haven't really seen everything. Ken Griffey's Winning Run. That might actually be worth something. Uh, All Star Baseball 99. I played that one as a kid. Lord of the Rings for the PS2. So it's quite a random collection of stuff. This is like a, is that an Xbox One controller. No, it's yet. It's Power A. I mean, it's third party. Might be 360, oh, might be Xbox One. There's an N64 controller. Actually, decent stick. A little loose, but that might just need some cleaning to be good to go. Keep in mind, 25 bucks for the entire bin. A couple more N64 sports games. Madden 2001. N64 power core, that's helpful. Well, it's <laughs> just all bundled that. together. Uh, third-party SNES controller, another third-party SNES, a couple third-party Wii wheels. That might be the Atari Power Cord. Link's crossbow training. And I thought I saw, like, a Guitar Hero dongle in here. There's some first-party SNES Nintendo AV cables. Oh, yeah, there it is. So this is... Oh, it's a wireless drum receiver. So I just sold one of these for 20 bucks. So that almost gets the money back. I was hoping it was a guitar receiver because those are big money for PS3. But yeah, I mean, 25 bucks all in for that stuff. It's a great score. Probably worth, I don't know, maybe 75 to 100. Good toy for Tootsie right here. Yeah, Tootsie's digging that controller. What's the diagnosis on the controller? I think it might be original Xbox. Original it's Xbox. Got the Let's Possibly. see. Let me see that. It's got the breakaway. Yeah. Needs yeah. Like second port. Possibly. It's a little smaller, so it may be. Yeah. 60, but. I, I mean, it's got the breakaway, so you could probably use it for, if it's like a USB breakaway, you could use it for yeah. other things. But yeah, it looks like original Xbox. You know what I'm saying? Totally invalid. Who knows? Yeah, I mean, that's the same connector as the original Xbox breakaway. And then Wii Sports Resort, uh, which has Wii Sports in it, that was a dollar. And I forgot. With the $25 purchase came this bag of stuff as well. Atari joystick, another one. I think there, oh yeah, there's the actual Atari power cords. I don't know what that other power cord was. And then some of the dual paddles and an NES controller. So that was a nice little stop at the little shop down the road. So this G.I. Joe that came in the non-original box, actually pretty exciting. So I paid 10 bucks. It came inside of this box, which this box is from 2004. But I was surprised to see an original figure, and I knew 
that it was something. So this is, upon doing some research, this guy is a, probably about $70 in this condition just for the figure alone. It's 1964, as you can see there. Um, he has a like a complete body with feet, hands, arms, legs, head, everything. And it's like the brown hair, brown eye, eyes, scar face, you know, scar on the face. I think the hair is painted on. Pretty special figure. And then this is a very special vest, one sold, the only original one that has sold for $85 plus shipping. That's from like the Air Adventure team. Um, so I found that. These boots are original, probably $10 to $15. The weapon, I couldn't find the exact one, but I would guess that might be around $20. The pants couldn't find and the shirt couldn't find. They do have stains and stuff. But collectors are really looking for these. So I listed for $200 or best offer on this set. And I think that I'll get pretty close to that. So just thought I would update you guys on the exciting news. Thank you guys for watching Chase Out to the Right Price. I truly appreciate it. It's a lot of fun making these videos, and I love that you guys come along for the ride. Hopefully, you learned something and got some value out of it. If you did, if you could take a second and go ahead and hit that like button right below, that really helps the channel. It helps in YouTube metrics and helps people like you to see these videos. Also, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell. Go ahead and do that. Then you can join us and get notified every time a video comes out. And we'd love to have you along for the ride. So we'll see you next time. Stay tuned.